Hello everyone, welcome to the IchimokuCharts.com daily analysis for the Euro US dollar FX for Monday, July the 9th, 2012. Well, a continuation of the trends of the downside today in a candle with a lower high and a lower low. Um, a change of momentum, however, we have a white body candle, and it's been some time since we had a white body candle. The previous three trading days, we had three fairly large black body candles, and today a white body denoting the buyers making net bullish progress, as opposed to the strong amount of net bearish progress that the sellers have made for three out of the four previous trading days. This does set the market up for a potential change of trend, but we would require confirmation of that change of trend. So the area around the high of the current candle, which coincides with the previous area of uh, uh, strong support at 123.28 roughly, uh, will be important uh, for this market tomorrow if we are going to see that change of trend. Today we've seen the buyers uh, take control of this market and the previous three trading days the sellers close with strong control. They close the market down towards the low, they open up towards the high on most of those days and they showed very strong commitment for each of those uh, trading days and today we've had the opposite where the buyers have taken control and they've shown strong commitment on the trading day. Having said that, however, the buyers really weren't strong enough to take out the previous high, so they weren't strong enough to change the trend, and that's significant. So even though we've seen the sellers lose a lot of that commitment that they had, the buyers have uh, shown commitment on the trading day, but in terms of the previous strong momentum, they haven't really addressed that as yet. There is still potential for them to do that, but crucial would be this 123.28 area. We did see the market trade down below this swing low here around 122.87, and uh, we closed just down below there and obviously that area is has had its effect and we've seen buying coming in. We now have the uh, swing low extended roughly down to around this 122.50 level. Now uh, there isn't a lot of support down below if this trend does continue down and if the market finds resistance around this 123.28 area and sells off then the next area of support is 121.55 and below there there isn't any major support until we trade down to 118.76. To the upside, there is uh, some uh, potential resistance after the 123.28 area uh, in a minor way around this 124 level and then up to 124.55. In terms of the Fibonacci extension and we're examining the relationship between the current first time frame downtrend to the previous time the market was trending down and the market has traded through the 100% level in a bearish way and uh, there was a possibility that we could see the market trade down to the 121.41 area, the 161.8% level. There is still a possibility that, that could happen. So if we don't see that change of trend to the upside today, then that still remains a target that we should be watching over the next few days. In terms of the Fibonacci retracement, now we have an expansion where the market retraced past the 100% level and we're interacting roughly with the 161.8% level at 122.30 and we're seeing the influence of that level coming in now where we've seen buying coming in so that does suggest that there is strong potential for a change of trend to the upside. In terms of Ichimoku uh, it's all bearish uh, in uh, all three time frames we have the market trading below the cloud below the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen uh, which means that the market is bearish in the long term, the medium term and the fast term time frames and the Chika Span is now trading below the corresponding price action and that's confirming this bearishness that we're seeing so the Ichimoku indicators are suggesting that there could be continued bearishness Having said that, however, the market is looking a little bit extended. We are trading a fair way away from all of these indicators and a fair way away from the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen. And the Kijun Sen has turned flat. And very often when that turns flat, price action is attracted back towards there. So that does suggest that uh, if the market does trade through the 123.28 area, we could easily see the market trading up to uh, testing to 124 and then even up to 124.55 and even a possibility of trading to the Kijun Sen, which is trading around, around the 125 area. So moving forward tomorrow, uh, 123.28 is really crucial, but also uh, below the 122.87 level and down to the low of the current candle, uh, are um, very important if the market is going to continue trending down. Uh, there is a possibility of that change of trend and retracement back towards the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen.